Magnificent and grand, a hotel imbued with Australian history and long-running ownership. Our destination, truly a matter of rural intrigue and eerie pleasantries as a place of phantoms. Meandering through the property, you may discover the beauty of the bush with vast views of the countryside and subtle sounds of still land. You may even feel a sense of calmness wash over you as you appreciate the picturesque grounds. But don't be so quickly fooled, there may be a mystery to unearth. Our hotel, the main suspect. The Royal Hotel Harrisville, originally established in 1875, is one of Australia's most iconic historic sites and earliest hotels of the scenic rim region. More than 100 years ago, in 1916, it struck tragedy with the original building burning down. As rumours go, five to seven lives were said to have been lost in the blaze, trapped and left to haunt the building's remains. However, there is no conclusive evidence from any historic records of there being any victim of the fire bar the hotel itself. Despite this, there are ever-growing phenomena of phantom figures, objects moving with a mind of their own, and a woman wearing a black dress. This begs the question, how does one as new management navigate this haunted environment? Today I'm going to talk to Kathy, who is one of the main owners of the hotel, along with her partner Jade. So what did you know about the hotel before buying it? Absolutely nothing. We knew nothing about the paranormal activities in this hotel at all. There was a, a booklet that was left here at the hotel from the previous owner before Lloyd and it sort of did a lot of uh, research from the paranormal activity that was here. But Jade and I are both emergency nurses so we were very sceptical about the whole ghost stories and everything surrounding it because as emergency nurses pretty much you're either dead or you're alive, there's no in between, uh, so we were quite sceptical about it all. So what was it like when you guys first started running the hotel? We understood that it was going to be a lot of hard work, and it is a lot of hard work, it's not just sitting at the pub and sitting at the bar and pouring beers and talking to people, there's a lot of work behind it, so um, I, th I think we're learning every single day, I think uh, we've, we're on the right track, put it that way. Long before Kathy and Jade, one of the original owners of the hotel, were Margaret Holly Dunn and her husband. Her husband was a licensee, but sadly passed away after working on a cotton farm. Margaret, one of the potential ghosts of the hotel, then became one of Australia's first female licensees after fighting for ownership. How would you describe Margaret's temperament through her hauntings? Her demeanour, I would say she is not a scary person at all. She, she is more mischievous but she definitely makes herself known. She was pretty naughty with regards to she'd uh, make a mess of the tablecloths. We'd always set the tables but in the morning you'd come in and the tablecloths would be pushed up so that they were all scratched up so you'd have to come and reset the table tablecloths. And How have your experiences with the ghost changed over time? We've had the hotel now for seven months so we took it over in August last year. Um, Initially, as I've, as I've mentioned, Margaret was very prevalent and quite active. Um, she's still present most nights. You can hear her walking around, but it's not in a frantic way. It's more in a relaxed nature and she walks around. And you know, I think she's quite settled now with us. So, is there anything for guests to watch out for when they visit? It's, it's really interesting. Like A lot of people are very sceptical, so people don't actually feel anything but then you'll have other people that will come here and they will automatically feel that there's a presence here. Phenomenal and haunted, but lively in character, the Royal Hotel Harrisville may be the cross between history and modernism that we all need. May ghosts haunt you in your stay, or may you instead discover the hospitality of new dedicated management. There's a bit of adventure here for everyone.